what we'll be doing today is just uh, give you an overview of uh, uh, structural analysis, uh, which we we do with ANSYS Workbench. Uh, quick introduction, uh, I'm Sibin K. Philip. I'm a product engineer at uh, Cummins uh, and I uh, uh, have a degree, uh, master's degree in mechanical engineering at University of Wisconsin. I'll just uh, get started. Okay, uh, so I, I just have uh, this uh, luxurious car, which uh, each of us uh, would decide to have. So uh, just wanted to uh, talk in a uh, big perspective and then uh, come come all the way down uh, to see how important uh, every, everything is. So uh, as I mentioned, we do love to have a luxurious uh, car like this, just looking at outer structure, uh, it looks pretty good, but uh, I just have this picture to show you all the parts uh, it has uh, on a car. So you have this engine, all these different uh, types of uh, different parts you know, in your car, which makes it as a whole looks uh, luxurious, uh, give, give enough power to your uh, uh, car. So that said, uh, we have this big car. So I, I just wanted to, uh, Disassemble, disassemble it in the in the way that uh, to see how 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 small parts are being assembled together to make it a big part like this. So you have this big car, and then you have uh, it's taking out the engine uh, from uh, a car. You have all these parts. You have this crankshaft, camshaft, uh, piston, and all these stuff. So uh, just uh, disassembling it more, just taking this in the block uh, and taking out the parts. Uh, with, uh, you, uh, as I mentioned, you have all this crankshaft, camshaft, piston steps, and and all of them ends up with this uh, uh, screw or a spanner or a sprocket uh, bolt nut stuff. So uh, it's all these small, small parts which comes into play to to make it a big uh, assembly like this. Uh, okay, so uh, just to wrap uh, on what I have here is this, all these small parts uh, when this is uh, when assembled together makes it look pretty good. So uh, that's what I had down here. So everything counts. Uh, it's all these small parts uh, which we might think is small, but the uh, the feature it has, uh, the importance it has is something. Uh, which stands out. So down here uh, is what I have. Uh, like we have all these different components uh, in your car. Uh, just taking out the big parts, uh, taking the steering, uh, your transmission, the safety, airbag, uh, brake system. When you look at it, it's all the small parts uh, which does does the work for you. So uh, and it is totally important as a mechanical engineer for us to consider. Uh, whether, whether it's small or a big part, it is really important in any aspect. So even if, let's consider one of this part fails, one of the specific small part fails, your brake system is uh, gonna uh, get screwed up. So we don't want that to happen. And as an en engineer, it, it, it's, our, uh, it's our role to make sure everything which is on a vehicle or on anything works properly it does the function and doesn't fail so so uh, as a part of um, being an engineer uh, what we're trying to do here is to learn more on analysis uh, do to do, do some uh, analysis uh, down here so uh, with that said i'll get started with uh, this workshop uh, get, get you guys uh, information on what finite element analysis is and how do we generally use ANSYS Workbench to run the simulations and uh, go over a few of the simulations, a uh, few of the basics, uh, which we need to be strong enough uh, to uh, get a better understanding of what's actually going on and run a simulation. So I'll get started guys. Uh, so finite element method, uh, FEM is a numerical technique uh, in representing, representing a system. So as a whole, uh, what we would do is uh, we have a big structure, uh, but we, we take each of those structure, so which is on the left, we try to divide it 
into a different number of elements. So uh, we divide it as number of elements. Uh, uh, I'll talk more on the nodes in the next slide. And uh, that uh, dividing the element is what we call as meshing. So once we do that and assign some material properties, structural properties to it, uh, we run the simulation and determine uh, what we want, maybe something like a dis displacement, stress, strain, anything else. Thank you.